This is the typical kind of class one manicure pruning that we do on the incense cedar. We seek out the dead material and trace it back to its live lateral. So in the case of these small shade out shoots, we've got one here, here's another one here, 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 and there it is. One there, and one there. That's it. All the dead tissue has been removed from this individual structure. And that is really about all you need to do the incense cedar at all, is just occasionally clean up the low material and keep the tree clean and tidy. There is not a big buildup of dead wood in the incense cedar typically anyway. There's only a small accumulation of our summer dieback that we see. And you'll notice that it really self prunes. It just drops out of there on its own. You can give it a little shake. We call it the orangutan. Just give it a little shake like that and you can shake out those dead platelets or you can just allow the wind to do this job. In this tree we have a much more mature specimen. It has a, about a two foot diameter trunk so it has good mature size and value to a property and even at this advanced state of its development we, we look around we can still find a few cuts in the management of this tree. We look up here, here's one little shade out dieback underneath. A small little cut. There we go. This is about all the pruning this tree needs. I'm telling you, you look at this tree, there's barely a cut to be made.